I'm Matt, I'm the programming lead in the UK and I'm working on the physics for Stronghold 3. In the previous games we've had pre-canned animations for all of the physics destruction and now it's being done entirely through a physics engine and it's far more realistic because of that. It's much more exciting when physics is involved because there's an element of unpredictability about what's going to happen. A medieval game like Stronghold really is an ideal showcase for uh, physics and we can show off loads of things like towers crumbling, castle walls falling down, um, units flying off battlements. So it really is an ideal kind of playground for those kind of effects. We're using Havoc. It's, it's definitely the most um, robust middleware that we've, we've tried using. We've tried several other providers and um, Havoc lets us do all of the things we want to in terms of ragdolls, in terms of uh, wall destruction, in terms of building destruction. So each building now is an individual physics object and each one can be destroyed in any kind of way. So to build a castle you'd probably start off by placing a few straight walls and then you might connect up some gatehouses. You can then place some bastions inside the walls, you can place towers along them, you can station some troops on top of those towers. It really is a full castle building simulation, you can really do whatever you want with it. Um, and then all of those elements are destructible, the physics can affect absolutely any of those.